getting mic'd up. Yeah. Close to showtime. Almost close to showtime, <laughs> yep. bell and rock with your boy let's get it what's up y'all so as y'all know my episode of Shaq's life just aired on tv and it was huge it was huge it was a dope episode um we talked about the car show pork and torque um we talked about the foundation and everything like that um i've been waiting for this all year because you know we filmed it back in april I want to say March, April time frame. So it finally aired this month, December. So, you know, it was a huge honor. For those that didn't get a chance to see it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show y'all some clips. As y'all saw in the intro, I showed y'all some behind the scenes, behind the scenes stuff. And, you know, so I'm going to just go ahead and show you some clips. So here's um, one of the two clips that, um, that we had on episodes. This is when we met up with Shaq, had dinner. We initially... We officially initiated him into our car club, and you know we just had a good time. So that's gonna be this clip right here. And where else does this giant man child get to show off his favorite playthings than at a car club? One day I was on the highway, and some cars similar to mine came past me, shut down the highway, and was doing donuts on the highway. But then I typed Atlanta car clubs, and I saw Swagback Shack. I was like, Shaq? I'm Shaquille Hodge, um, also known as Little Shaq. This sounds like the setup to a sitcom the world didn't know it needed. My parents named me after him, actually, which is kind of funny and ironic. It was probably like midnight, and I get a message in my Instagram from Shaq saying, hey, I want to join your car club. At first, I thought, like, no, nah, someone hacked this page, or this isn't real. And then the next day, he called me. I'm like, oh, wow, this is real. Let this be a lesson. Always check your DMs. You never know who might slide in. What's going on, buddy? This man right here got me look. Turn around so they can see you. My name's Curtis Padgett. I'm the owner of Padgett Motorsports. I'm uh, also the vice president of Atlanta Street Execs. And when Shaq first joined, his car was, uh, it was a Hellcat, but it was pretty basic. We got together and talked about his vision and making it unique and, and separating it from the rest of the Hellcats. Shaq became a member of the Atlanta Street Execs Car Club just in time to attend their annual car show fundraiser for meningitis happening this week. My wife passed of meningitis in 2018. My whole car is actually dedicated to my wife. Under my hood, I have her portrait. She was my heart, so she watches over the heart of my car. A lot of people don't know what meningitis is. So my fourth annual Pork and Torque is a car show that I put on every year. We raise money to help families who has dealt with it or who is currently dealing with it. What's up? Is that the two people here? Oh, here? Yeah. yeah. You're going to be here the whole time, you're just going to a certain amount of time. I'll be here the whole time. The fact that the big man, Shaquille O'Neal, supports what we're doing is going to be a huge factor in our turnout. I always said to myself, I have the freshest cars, no matter what. But when I was getting initiated, I realized that I wasn't even close. Everybody got those uh, Lamborghini doors? Just It was funny that the richest guy in the car club didn't have the freshest car. Mm -hmm. This is kiddie stuff, I admit, but hey, I'm going to be a kid for the rest of my life. So yeah, that was the first clip. Um... We had a good time. The dinner was good. We just had like a big old like family moment. So it was cool. It was dope. 
and then the next clip that I'm going to show you is the actual car show itself um, showing the, the, the whole situation of what happened because it did rain and we were nervous about people showing up. I was nervous about Shaq showing up because I didn't know how we felt about being out in the rain. Um, but that's the second clip that I'm going to show you. Um, might as well show you right now, right here. Rain, rain, go away. Get the hell out of here. Yatch. Today is Little Shaq's Big Pork and Torque fundraiser. But with the small turnout so far, it may not be the big money-making event he had thought. You got to take the rain out the right? The rain is coming. Hey, somebody write up that Shaq thing. Here we go. The big man himself. The crowd is definitely amped to see. Oh, my God. Yo. Or at least this guy is. What's up, Nice to see you. Yeah. I was worried in the point right that he wouldn't come out, but he doesn't let people down. He always keeps his word and, you know, because he's here. He loves people. He loves to help people. He loves to do what he can to help. We got people from Boston coming. We got New York out here. We got Alabama out here. It's crazy. It's cool, man. Just a little bit of rain, so I'm probably get in the car and just see if they see if they let pass. I mean, for little pass. But you just want me, you don't get wet, and I'm just. <laughs> As always, meeting Shaq is just too damn awesome to miss on account of some rain. And the cars are lined up for almost a mile just to get in. Last year we had 136, and this year you said we have how much? We're up to 307. So, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's progress. Looks to me like the pork and torque has been safe. But one question, though. I see the torque. Well, where's the pork? Hey, there it is. You know, I'm, I'm just like a kid out there. I see wheels, I see Chargers, Challengers, Corvettes, so I'm happy. Sure, Shaq is a giant kid with an unlimited bank account who loves to play with his toys. But he always finds a way to use his childlike passion and energy to put a smile on everybody's face and make a difference. Love you. We'll see you next time. So like I said earlier, it was a huge honor. It was a, a, a crucial, crucial accomplishment. It was another step in the direction that I'm trying to go. Um, not only was this my actual first time on national television, it was also my foundation's first time on national television. Hopefully that gets the word out a bit, gets the word out better about PAMA Foundation and what we're trying to do. But not only that, this was the first time my car club has ever been on national television. Actually, I think it was the first time any car club in Atlanta was on national television. So that's a huge honor. It's a, it's a huge step for every aspect of my life, my personal brand, my foundation, and my car club. Um, everyone was excited. Everyone was happy to see see what we're doing. The positive influence that we're trying to create, the the knowledge that we're trying to build and spread about meningitis. So like, if y'all don't already, make sure y'all follow my foundation, PAMA Foundation, P-A-M-A-H Foundation. Follow my car club, Atlanta Street Execs, and you know, just show us some love, show us some support, and, you know, continue to do what y'all are doing and, and rocking with me, you know what I'm saying? But before we go, make sure y'all hit that like button, drop a comment, hit that bell, and rock with your boy.